Kitsch lighting and a hint of vulgarity characterize Chris Bracey's studio, whose reign as the king of neon has been ongoing for more than 30 years. Imagine if you reduce your size and you went in through my ear and got into my brain. This is what it's like in my brain. This is how it is. My brain is full of neon words and neon ideas and art. The British artist began his career dressing the windows of Soho sex shops in the 1980s. He quickly became the go-to man in the fields of cinema, photography and fashion. From David LaChapelle and Stella McCartney to Tim Burton and Stanley Kubrick, his designs are in very high demand. At his graveyard of neon in East London, Gracie has collected some remarkable souvenirs. That hotel sign, I made that for uh, Dark Knight, which was uh, a Batman movie with Heath Ledger. The artist had been used to working in the shadow of celebrities, but now aged almost 60, his popularity is soaring. His work is being recognized in its own right at his first ever exhibition at a central London gallery, where his pieces are selling for up to 20,000 euro each. He now creates his own work instead of simply commissioning pieces for others. Words, they're only small when you say them and you write them on a piece of paper, but when you turn them into light and make them into neon, then they become giants and stunning, become stunning statements of, that make people think. With references to literature, British pop, Mexico and the United States, Chris Bracey plays on the concepts of good and evil, heaven and hell, and creatures of the night, all with the help of neon lights. <laughs>